Hello guys and welcome back to episode 26 of my Let's Play series. I'm gonna continue to work on my uh, sorting system today. Seems like the rain finally stopped. Oh, I did change uh, one thing that I thought was kind of neat. Went and turned uh, this whole cobblestone room into some glass. Figured it'd be easier to see the wisps so I don't have to, you know, come over here, open the door. Oh, there's nothing there, then close the door. So I've had a few wisps that just randomly spawned in there. I think it's because of those crystals that I have in my uh, Thomcraft room. Okay. Back to my new base. So wait, before that, I've got some new machines to show you. That should be everything. You can see I made a bunch of paint cans. One of every color. For this next build, I'm going to need four retrievers. Are made like so. You get some filters, leather, brass, ender pearls, iron ingots, and some blue alloy ingots. Get yourself some retrievers. I'm gonna need four. And then I also made an extra packager, and I made some extra sorting machines. See how I took my other packager here? Because I'm gonna be adding it into the system. What my system will do here, this new system that I'm adding, it'll automatically package things for me. Pretty much, it'll condense the blocks for me. And I need a chest. That was weird. World hole. All my paint cans, and I thought that I had some... I thought I had some, um... I'm just gonna need this. Well, I've got some wood here, but I'd rather use the other wood. That way I'm not really wasting resources. Let's just make a bunch of chests. Why not? Let's make like, I don't know, four. That seems reasonable, right? So then I'll have to stop, you know, coming back here to get chests. Now these retrievers also require a uh, red power energy, electricity. So I went and made myself a little thermopile set up right back out over here. Right here. I'm actually going to need some covers. Actually, I don't need covers here for that. But I will need covers for that other one that's right there. I think I've got some covers that I have in here. Yeah, yeah, I do. So this chest will act as, you know, a little buffer chest. It'll hold, you know, so many items. But it won't hold a lot. Which is why I'm just going to leave it as a normal chest. And it shall go right here. Can't open it, but that's okay. I don't need to open it. Then I'm also going to... Instead of putting it down in here in this water here, it'll get rid of the water. I'm actually going to do it one more higher. Like that. It'll, it'll be, look uneven. But, uh... It'll work out just nicely for us. And what I'm going to do here... I'm going to get rid of this temporary dirt. Then I'm going to lay down my retrievers. Wherever they went. Two of them. Right like so. Not like so. Like so. Sure, I can just screw drive it around, but I think this way is much more faster. Because then I have to get, you know, my thing out. And now I'm going to put my packagers down right here. Like so. Let's get our pneumatic tubes. Now what these retrievers will do, and then I'm going to get a restriction tube here. And then I'm going to paint it magenta. Boop, just like that. So what's going to happen, I've got, you know, uh, ingots will come out of here, and it'll automatically go here into this filter, which will then paint the uh, ingots uh, magenta, and it'll say, okay, the nearest one is right over here. Bam, flow into here, and then get packaged. As soon as I get nine. 
Now these retrievers will retrieve items. So anything along the network, as long as I tell it to, it'll say, okay, retrieve this so many items. And then I'm going to set it to this mode, and then I'm going to put nine of the items that I have here, because packagers only have, you know, limited inventory. So it'll only pull out nine at a time. Nine will convert it into a block, and then it'll get pulled out by these retrievers. Like so. This one's going to be a little hard, a little tricky. If I had maybe a block right here. Just like that. No, just temporary. Well, you might be wondering, well, how are you going to get power? I mean, sure, it's really close to it, but it's not actually connected. Well, I've got a fix for that. You know how we were able to make a cobblestone jacketed wire? Well, you can also make blue wire, too. Which are made, you know, with an ingot, and then surround it with a... Uh, whatever cover you want. I'm gonna lay one like so. Uh, one like so. Bam! Now this battery box will be quickly be drained, as you can see. And all the power will go into here. And as you can see, uh, red power machines will transfer the uh, energy over to the next uh, machine. And then what I'm gonna do with these S these are one-way tubes, so they only... Nothing will flow back into here. So then I can easily just hook up my thing just like that. And it'll, it should never, ever go down here. In theory. And with that, I think I, well, almost got my, uh, system up and ready. All I need to do is for these, uh, machines to, uh, pull things out of... Uh, something, it needs a redstone signal. Oh, need to do that. Go down here, and then I'm gonna have a lever. Let's see, throw those back in there, don't need that. Also got myself another, you know, the two sorting machines. I we'll need those, actually I might need them later. I should have a timer in here. I thought I made a timer, and I put it in here in this chest. As you can see, I made myself another recycler. Since I was going with threes, I might as well have three recyclers as well. Hmm. Guess I left it back over here in this other base. Soon that won't be a problem. Aha, here's the timer. Had an extra one laying around. Glad I didn't make another one. I was about to, though. Let's see. Come down our ladder. I'm gonna turn on the redstone signal so that it, uh. Wait, didn't want to put that there so that it won't automatically start pulling. That like that. And finally this. Bam! Now the cool thing about this little setup is that it's, well, it can be easily expandable. If I really wanted to, I would need to move this system right here. But if I really wanted to, if I had more than 18 items, because with this retriever, you know, you can put nine here, nine here, nine here, and it'll retrieve nine at a time, and it can go up to, it has nine slots, as does this one. So I can have up to 18 different items that can be packaged. If I really needed to expand it, put a retriever, packager, another retriever, one of these redstone, and then a pneumatic tube, and then that's it. It'll automatically get connected over here. The only thing I would have to really move here is this magenta-colored uh, restriction tube, and probably this. I, I could easily do that. I could just, like, move this over one, 
if I really needed to. And then I could expand out this way. But I think two packages is all I ever really need. Noms. Okay. So this battery box has hardly generated any amount of power. However, this battery box should be quite full. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a couple of batteries. Oh, well, oh, that was too many. Way too many. Whoops. That was weird. Sometimes inventory tweaks can be a pain. But sometimes not. For you and then to you. Give myself two batteries. All this stuff in here. It's like, okay. Battery. Bam bam. Ha ha. Project tables. And their uses. So I'm going to quickly power these uh, things up real quick. All I have to do is charge this battery, just put it right here, in the top slot. If I ever need to discharge a battery, I can put it in here, which is what I'm going to do over there. And this is, you know, it's halfway done. Should make sense because it requires four batteries to make a battery box, so it takes about, you know, four to, ch you know, fully charge. And... Aha! Now our retrievers are up and running. And I'm, and I'm hoping that this thermal pile will keep this thing charged just enough to make sure that it doesn't, uh, you know, overfill. And then we're going to slowly get back our uh, power back over here. So, now I just really need... And then I can do, you know, a little test of this system. As you can see here, I went and uh, sorted the things that need to be sorted. White, you know, you guys know, it will be ores. So automatically, come straight over here to these whites, get pulverized, and then smelted. And then they'll automatically get colored magenta and go over here. Now what I also did for this magenta line, if I ever do throw in some ingots here, it'll automatically go and get packaged. And anything that gets smelted, like uh, like this aluminum, like this aluminum here is orange. As you can see, I went and put a, a little uh, another relay back out back out over here, which will then uh, go into this powered furnace. As you can see, I've got a few uh, test things right out over here. But before any of that, I'm actually going to set these retrievers to uh, you know pull out so many items. And we're actually going to be calling it really close here with these 18 objects. I'm actually going to need two of each. Actually... I'm going to get 18 of pretty much everything. 18 of you... 18 of you, 18 of you, 18 of you, 18 of you, 18 of you. Oh, come on, move all this stuff back real quick. As you can see, you know, you can have a lot of stuff that can get packaged here. That's not even including these. Out over here. Actually, I'm gonna get aluminum first. I 
Did not know that I had a stack of it already. I was gonna package it, but our stuff is gonna package it for us now. And then I'll get the Psychorite later. For another run. Now what I need to tell the retrievers is that it needs to send whoa, fire. Fire from the uh, lava that's underneath there because this thing here is wood. But that'll change, so I won't be seeing fire down over here anytime soon. So I'm gonna need to tell Actually, that's right. These retrievers will actually automatically retrieve, you know, themselves. Throw a nine here. Bam. They actually don't need a redstone signal. Oh, that'll be... Okay, now I know why it's doing that, because, uh... No? Yeah, that will be a sort of problem. I actually need to make this one a restriction tube as well. Hmm. Because I do have an overflow chest. I wonder if I can paint these. Yeah, sh yeah I can paint these, but it doesn't matter. Actually, yeah, we'll paint these black. If I go and do this again, it should go straight up. This time. Yep, okay. And it'll wind, wind, wind its way back down over here. See, red power machines can be a uh, Confusing at times. I went and grabbed 18 of these because I thought I would. I was going to need to tell the retriever to uh, pull out a an iron block or whatnot, but I really only needed it to be nine. So we got iron, gold, copper, tin, nickel, and lead, sapphire. Green sapphire and rubies in this one. Is that pretty much all the things that are here? I also need silver. Hmm. Yeah, I'm also gonna need silver. Hmm. Well, e either way. Set this mode over here. This be sapphires and stuff. Like that. I will be calling it really close. If I ever need to, like, add in a. a other stuff like a. Diamonds or emeralds, if I ever do get, you know, that far ahead. I'm going to need to expand my system. Especially if I get some industrial grinders or whatnot from Greg Tech. Those things are neat. I need you, and where's the white? Kind of hard to see. One problem about these retrievers is that they require, you know, that much to be actually inside of it. So let's say if you really wanted to pull out a stack of diamonds at a time, you would actually have to put in a stack of diamonds. Kind of expensive. And here I'll put silver, and I think we'll have one empty spot. Blue, green, red, black, and light. And now, what this will do is that anything that will get smelted will actually turn into blocks and then send straight up. Which is good for storage space. 
So I turn this on. And two seconds is, you know, a good enough time. And then we'll start, you know, this. This this will be set to automatic, but I kind of want to see what, where everything goes. That one was aluminum. Then we'll get sent out over here. There we go. Make its way slowly into this relay, which will then get sent out to this filter, which will paint it and put it into here. Yep. The retriever will pull it once it gets nine. So right now there's only about, you know, eight or so uh, stuff there in that chest. And I'm actually need to upgrade this chest eventually. Because if there's going to be a little left over in every single item, if I add in another row right here, then I might need to upgrade this chest to an iron chest. Ooh. So what's going to happen here, is I'm going to set this to this mode, and you'll see a bunch of items get flown. All at once. Aha! Watch as everything goes exactly where it needs to go. Aha. Then s then this stuff gets processed. Ha ha ha. Oh, that is neat. I'm wondering if this is slowly getting charged. Yeah, it still says it's getting charged, so that's good. <laughs> and nothing's popping out like last time. Should start seeing some iron blocks be made. Yeah, there we go. Iron blocks. Ha ha. Because we had so much iron. And would you look at that? We got ourselves a neat little system here. Hehe. <laughs> ha ha ha. And that is a good packaging system. Now I just need to tell it where to go inside these barrels, because otherwise it's all just gonna wind it wind itself back down over here. If I ever need something, you know, I'll grab some, you know, blocks, turn it back into a uh, ingots, and then use those ingots. Now what I'm also gonna do... Oh, I actually need to go back into that set, into that chest. Is that I'm going to get some of this stuff right here. And then some of this. And I'm gonna set up another sorting machine. And this mode that I put it in, it was like, okay, I'll send, you know, all this stuff down to white, all this stuff down to orange. I went and left a spot here for orange. And all this stuff right here, off to magenta. Now, what it doesn't know what to do with, it'll paint it black. Or you know what? It'll paint it red. I'm actually going to need to get the red one. I was figuring just going to only be using one color, but I might need to use two depending on how many items I'm going to have, you know, automatically sort. <laughs> oh, that is neat. So what I'm also going to have back down over here in this automatic sorting system, I might actually need to get some more restriction tubes. And I thought I had iron on me. I think I used it. I think I threw it in. Oh no, here it is. I'm actually gonna get myself a couple, maybe, of restriction tubes, and then some normal tubes. What I'm gonna do with these tubes is that I'm gonna restriction tube like that. Let's see. Another sorting machine like so. Oh, that was weird. 
and then finally another tube like so. Looks a little laggy, but that's okay. Haha! -ha. Look at those things go. And if anything becomes backlogged, it'll stay here in this relay here, in these relays here. What I'm gonna do here real quick. Mine out some of this stuff. Oh. That's right. Hmm. How do I want to do this? That's right, I'm having some kind of like update error. I think it would have been better if I put the uh, the battery box over here. Because then we'll have, you know, pipes going out every way, every which way, and it'll look, it'll just look ugly. However, since it's set to this mode, I'm going to quickly set it, switch it back to that mode. Break this, and this. Break this stuff. And put it like so. I think this will work just for now. I'm going to quickly make this fancy. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And then I'll also fix up this right here, which I can do like so. Aha. Now that we've got this little hole here, if, if I go and put a cover here, it'll actually break the link between these two, which is something I do not want. So what I'm going to do instead is that I'm going to make some a new type of a cover thing for you guys. As you can see, it's increasing the thickness. However, if I put eight like so, I'll get myself hollow stone brick covers. The cool thing about these is that they allow, you know, tubes to pass through it. And look at that. Seems like it goes into the floor and then it you know, does its, does what it's intended to. Having some kind of weird update glitch, but uh, I'm also going to tame paint this red right here. As long as I don't color anything else red upstairs, it'll automatically know what to do. It'll automatically know where to go. So, like if anything doesn't uh, get sorted here, it'll actually go into this sorting machine first and it's already got power, then I can tell it to go, you know, somewhere else and stuff. Uh, like, I could have, uh, like, plants and stuff here, and then, I don't know, mob drops over here. And what I could actually do is put myself another sorting machine right down here, and then tell those, you know, so many items, you know, that go elsewhere. And I'm going to color it black. Now that might confuse this thing back down here. I'm actually okay. Black will go this way. Like, oh, okay. There's nowhere else to go, so it'll go back up. It should. And this one be colored black. If not, then I'll just have to recolor these uh, a separate color on the other end. But then, other than that, I think we've got this packaging system nice and good. Man, this thing's coming along. Now I just need to get my recycling system, but to do that, I'm going to need to get some industrial craft power back at the back over here. And then I also need to move my engines and my tank and stuff so that these things can run efficiently. Now from that mine, that I, from all those ores that I had, let's see how well I did. Oh, look at that. Some copper blocks, tin blocks, silver blocks, and some iron blocks. Sweet. And then I need to organize all these. I think that should be good. So I'll throw in my red and then my black in here. And then the rest of this stuff can go in here too. Those, those, those. My lever. 
Everything else can sit here in my inventory. Except for that restriction tube. Restriction tube can go back over there. On with this bucket. Man, it's raining again. There's just so much rain. We go check outside at our bees, even though I know it's raining. I haven't really done much with them, unfortunately. I wish I could get into more, uh, stuff. However, off-camera, I was able to find a... a house with a, a couple of bee villagers. And what I'm actually gonna do here now... So I'm gonna go over there. Bee villager. Actually, there's this village way out over there, and it's called a huge village. And if I take my book here, I went and trapped some of these uh, villagers inside of this house here. And w one of these villagers, yeah, there we go, has these proven frames. And then that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna grab a few. About that many. You like that? Yeah, he likes it. Now I'm gonna quickly head back. Now these proven frames increase the uh, output of your bees. Required a couple of emeralds, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do with these proven frames is that I'm gonna put them in just like that. Oh. How you doing, zombie? Well, come on. Get over here. Yeah, lots of stuff. And throw them into here. We got some chocolate frames in here. That's okay. Actually, I'm gonna take these chocolate frames out for now. And use these proven frames instead. And I was gonna breed some, uh, bees, but it's unfortunately raining. So I think here is a good, you know, stopping point for, uh, episode 26. I'd like to still, you know, apologize for my late video a couple days ago, but that's okay. First time for everything. Okay, so this is Lunchbox, and I'm signing off. Adios. Oh. Adios, and good night.